Hey, it's Francis, and it's week 24 in how I plan Portraits of White, the professional show with, I know it's gonna be a personal touch because I've been working on it. I've got my hot tea here because it's a chilly day out. In two weeks from today, Friday, I will be getting ready to do the show. And I would be, I would just be so ready to see you and to step out on stage and start the show, let me tell you. In a couple days, I meet with the, the players. I just can't think, my brain is just so full of details. That's one of the reasons that I go through the show so many times. My wall is completely bare now in my studio and it's, it's just me and my brain. <laughs> Won't that be scary? Oh, it'll be fun, let me tell you, we've got some fun stuff planned. And the players I'm working with this year, it's a smaller group, so we've, we've had more communication with each other and just coming up with some fun stuff. You don't wanna miss this show. Next week, I'm gonna give you a little peek into meeting the players. Uh, we have rehearsal coming up, did I say that? Okay, so anyway, some of the ladies, of course, the fans wanna know, do you do your own hair and makeup? Do you change dresses by yourself? Do you have someone overseeing all that? You know, in a perfect world, I would just show up and my hair would get done. Can you even dye my eyes to match my dog? Uh -huh. Yeah, I would have professionals do all that stuff, but uh, I don't know if you noticed, we don't live in a perfect world. So over the years, I've had different people do my hair and help with makeup, sometimes family members, sometimes other girls in the show. I had the Grinch's makeup artist do my makeup that year. But over time, my producer has said, just do your hair the way you would do it for a concert when you have a photo shoot. So I've kind of just adopted that thinking where I'll just do my own hair because I have to do it for other concerts. So I might as well try to get good at doing my hair, right? This year especially, just to keep costs down and stuff, I'm doing my own hair. And do you like my highlights? I mean, they're all natural. <laughs> so, this week, I was at Palmer Hall again. I have kind of had people switch roles. Instead of having Tom Ryan do the set design, I'm having him oversee the lights. How many technicians does it take to light up portraits of white? Well, let me tell you, it takes two spot operators at least, it takes someone to run the board, and a lighting director to tell everybody what to do when. It takes the artist being sure that she has written out everything very clearly of what's happening when. But I thought I'd let Tom Ryan, the lighting director, tell you himself. Why are lights so important to a show? Lights are critical in the show because number one, they help the audience see the performer and they help the audience see what you want them to see at any yeah. given time. Secondly, lights are important because they create atmosphere. They tell us where a song is going. They support the music. And thirdly, they create emotion. So there you go in a nutshell. Nice. Nice. These are nice spots. We need to move that forward. Yeah. Yeah. That we can yeah, I love the fade. Go. That's fantastic. There may be times where a soft spot is in order you're probably gonna just have to take that out. And I'll have it written in the, in the follow spot, like, hey, this should be a soft spot. Okay. Uh, so based on the mood of the song. So there you go. What can I say? Go get your tickets. I wanna see you at the show. Don't forget, bring your mask. Please come, because I'm telling you, this is a very special show. This is not a concert you're gonna see anywhere else. It's not live streamed. Yay! I know, we're all kind of tired of live streaming, aren't we? We've gotten used to it, but my vision was to really make this special and in-person. I'm gonna get ready to meet with my performance coach here in a little bit, and he's gonna help me just, uh, like he would say, put the chocolate on the pillows. Oh,